Hi, I'm the Toy Mom, and today we're going to see what's in this Mickey Mouse surprise bag. Oh, we have Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, and it has a 15-piece dough kit. Looks like we have molds and a presser, and I think we're going to have a lot of fun with this one. So I'm going to open it, and we'll get started. I'm so excited. You know why? Because we get to visit the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse today with this Disney Doe 15 piece set. So let's check it out and work with it and see what it can do. This is going to be our press. And look at these canisters of Disney Doe. Notice that they have pictures of. Donald Duck, Mickey Mouse on the labels, um, but they also have the character that we're going to be using as a mold as the lid. That's pretty clever, I think. So, for instance, we have Mickey, or I'm sorry, this is Minnie with the bow, and she's got the green, so we'll keep the we'll keep the mold out, right? here and then here can you tell me who this is yep you are right that's goofy and he has his own color of Disney dough so put him right there and I wonder who this could be oh here we go whose clubhouse is it Mickey Mouse Of course, his best friend is Donald Duck. And Donald has oh, a little dough on you there, Daisy. There's Daisy Duck. And we have Pluto. Can you get, see Pluto? There we go. That's a good shot of Pluto. He's always so happy. So we have that type of mold, and those fit into our stamper. But we also have molds of Minnie Mouse. There's our little happy Pluto. And there's Mickey again. So we'll be using those also. And then it comes with these tools. These are used for different things. I'll try to show you how each one of them works. That's a cutting tool with a, a blade that is jagged. This tool actually fits into the stamper, and I'll show you how that works. And this is a shaping cutting tool that can be used. And looks like this is also can be used for shaping or cutting the dough. And then, we have a play mat. And at the end, look, you know what that is. It's Mickey Mouse's clubhouse. At the end, we'll use our characters that we stamp out to fill up our play mat. So let's get started. We're gonna need our tools. We're gonna need our stamper. We're gonna need our stamps. Let's see what else. Oh, I know, some Play-Doh. Let me show you how this works. This tool goes in the back of the stamper like that. And in this case, we can see it's a triangle. I probably could put it in the other way. I'm sure that's not a problem. And it could be the other way up. But I'm going to put it in this way. And then there's a star and this shape, it almost looks like the letter H, and then this shape. So actually this stamper could be doing two things at once and I'll show you how. If we put some Play-Doh in here, and we put, let's say, Donald stamp right there, and we get some red Play-Doh, guess what happens? I'll turn it around this way so that you can see that look, 
a triangle starts coming out there. And if we slide this tool, it does two things. It moves to the next shape and it cuts our triangle. So then we push it down some more. Still haven't made the stamp. We're still making lots of little shapes back here. And then let's make the star. And we're getting lower. See, we're almost ready to stamp Donald. And let's move it again. What a talented little tool this is. So now we'll concentrate on stamping Donald. But look at all the shapes we have back here that we're making. Okay, so let's check out our stamp. There's Donald. And now's a perfect time to use one of our cutting tools. There we go. What a nice shape. For Donald. So we'll put him over there. And then I'm going to take this tool out of here. And now look at these shapes. We have this shape. We have this shape. You could do anything you wanted with these. And we have these shapes. So it's pretty cool that it can do a couple of things at the same time. Okay, so we have made all of the molds from the lids. Look how nice they stack up. That's nice. So we can put our stamper away. And we are going to make another Mickey. But this time we're going to use this type of mold, which is a little bit different. This one we press with our hands. We don't put it in the press. And I found that this tool comes in very handy when I'm trying to get the dough away from the mold. Look at that. Now, you can either tear it, or we've got so many cutting tools, I think that I will use this tool to cut out this type of mold of Mickey. Now that I cut around my mold, the outline of the mold, I guess I should say, I can take this one out. Look, that turned out pretty cute. So you have two different types of molds that you can use. So now you know what I think would be really fun is let's clear off all of our tools. And I think it would be fun now to use the play mat with our set. Do you know the magic words? If you do, say them with me. Miska, Muska, Mickey Mouse. <gasps> There it is. So now what we'll do is use the play mat to play with our molds that we made. I'm going to put Mickey Mouse right here on top of his clubhouse. And then the other Mickey Mouse that we made, I'm going to put in front of his clubhouse. I'm going to put Pluto at the dog house. I'm going to put Donald over here, sometimes I've seen him float off in that balloon shaped like a hand. I'm going to put Daisy up here. She's going to be sunbathing. I'm going to take Goofy, who I know loves to garden, and put him over here. Whoops! Minnie got under the mat, but that's okay. She's going to go right here. And then I had made other molds. Here's Minnie Mouse. I'm going to put her up in the trees. That's kind of fun. And here is our little friend Pluto. And I think we'll put him over here by Minnie. So there we have. We used our play mat and we used all of our molds with our Disney dough set. 
So thank you so much for playing with me today. I had fun. Now choose another Mickey Mouse surprise bag or one of my other surprise bags to open. And don't forget to subscribe.